If you are wondering how Acumatica credentials get stored when you use Power Query in Excel, and if you're concerned about those credentials getting passed along with the Excel file, hopefully this video will put your mind at ease. All of the credentials that Power Query uses when you connect to something, they get stored locally on your computer. That means if you send the Excel file out, the person who receives it is going to have to put in their own credentials, which will get stored locally on their own computer. And to see this, we can open up Excel. I'm not going to actually connect to something here, but I have connected to something previously. And we can see my existing credentials that are stored on my computer by going up to Data, Get Data, Launch Power Query Editor. This opens up the Power Query window, and up on the Home ribbon, if you go over here to Data Source Settings, and leave this Global Permissions uh, box checked, here's all the credentials that have been stored on my computer. I just have a couple here. There could be a whole big long list. They're all going to be stored on your computer. Now don't be confused by this. This makes it sound like there's a credential stored in the workbook, in the Excel file, but it's just telling you which connections are actually being used in this Excel file. So if I were to go connect to one of these two, it would now be used in the Excel file, but the credentials themselves are not stored in the Excel file. So the question is, where are they stored? Well, you can see them if you browse out to this location, it'll be C users, your Windows username, then you can read the rest of it here. And the credentials are buried in this user.zip folder. And there's a credentials.bin file. Now I'm not 100% sure if this is the file, because you can't read it, but I think it is. Uh, I know it's stored in the user.zip folder, or file, which I'll show you in a minute how I know that. If we copy the credentials.bin out here, which is where I think they're stored, and try to read it with Notepad, it's not a clear text file. So there's some kind of encryption going on here. I don't know exactly what kind of encryption, but it is Microsoft. This is one of their most popular products. So I would hope that the encryption is, is pretty good on this. But the key is that it is stored locally. And to prove that point, let's come back here and let's take a look at the user.zip file, which is where that information is stored. And let's just delete it. So right click, delete that file. And if I come back here, you see I have my two connections. If I close this, and I go back to data source settings, you'll see that they're gone. So that is where the credentials are stored, stored in this user.zip. And you see it got regenerated before it had a size to it. Now it's got zero kilobytes. So it does regenerate this zip uh, file. And that way, any future connections that you create in Power Query for Excel will get stored here.